We started this telehealth thing about um, a couple of weeks ago, and quite honestly, in the last uh, week, I've done almost exclusively virtual visits. I had a lady who was having low blood sugars, and instead of her going to the hospital, we were able to work, you know, uh, work it out for her and uh, talk her through the visit. I was able to actually see her. Her husband was holding the webcam, and we were able to get her through that. And um, we were able to prevent an emergency room visit out of that and get her sugar stabilized. We had um, two older patients. They, uh, it was a patient and their spouse, and they both had uh, long-term uh, chronic um, illnesses that were needed to be addressed. We're very nervous about the uh, whole telehealth visit. They were unsure if they could be set up virtually. And um, I gave them a call, went through step by step and taught them how to get on and their appointments were very smooth and they had no issue. I think the link, integrating the link was a really good idea because most patients are able to access that and click it and just automatically get on, which I think is extremely helpful. I'm able to see everything online. I can see their entire chart. I am able to, um, to e-scribe things. I know a number of physicians in my um, area have really turned away patients and, you know, kind of closed their doors to people because there's a lot of fear going on. And I understand it because if, if we as a provider get um, the COVID-19, then we really have to start quarantining ourselves and then we can't really do the job that we set out to do. In keeping with, you know, making sure that people stay at home, this is our way of doing our part as a primary care um, provider.